welcome back welcome back welcome back yeah all right so we about to do some medium curve tips medium sh medium curve tips you feel me uh, the tips i'm using are from me a secret and i got them from nail supply glamour the, gla uh, the glasses the scissors that i'm using are from amazon Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. They are chowdy. All right, so what we're doing right now, we matching up the lengths of the nails on each hand to make sure they're the same length or whatever. Yep, yep. We're going to go ahead. We're going to rush through that. I low-key feel like this video is too long, so I'm going to have to speed up some because it's going slow. Yeah, it's going real slow, so we're going to speed this up just a little bit after we do this shaping and stuff because I know sometimes it's a little hard to shape uh, curve tips. So yeah, like I said, most of the time I like to keep mine square because that's, you know, gives that nostalgic vibe to them. I'm using an 88 grit hand file that I got from Tulip. It's almost time for me to reorder some of these. I know I mentioned most of the products that I'm using. Um, if you guys go back to some of the, my older videos, the ones that have product listed, most of these items are listed in those. So, yeah. Be mom for that. Right now, I am, you know, every time I do one of these videos lately, I be forgetting what, I, what I'm doing right here. I am blending in the tip with the natural nail, but I figured it out, guys. So, yeah. Um, as you can see, I like to square off the ends, square off the ends, and then go lightly. Well, it don't look like I'm going lightly, but I'm really going lightly, guys. I swear. Mm -hmm, mm hmm and blend that tip in and we need to make sure that it is fitting the nail we need to fit the nail we need it to fit the nail sorry guys just a little cut off but you know i'm back in action back in the god dang on gang you hear me anyways so yeah we're gonna keep doing that for all 10 nails i'm gonna add some music on this because um uh, it's going slow it's going real slow and that's crazy so yeah, I'll be back when we're done with this. Make sure you guys are blending in the tip with the natural nail using light pressure, whether you're using the hand file or the e-file, okay? Okay, and when you're doing these curved tips, I recommend keeping them square. It's okay to make it a narrow square or tapered square, but I feel as though the curve, it looks really, really good with a square. It looks good with a square. Okay, well, I'll be back. I'll be back. All right. All right. boom so we done better our e file you know why because we need to go in and clean up some of the like excess nail that we just filed off especially off these curve tips so yeah that's what we're doing right now we're just etching it out we're not really uh reshaping anything we're just cleaning it up honestly and truthfully that's all we're doing so we're gonna go down the sides go down the sides you see it you see it on the extra yeah see you see it right there it's just a little little something something that i need to get off because i'm Mm -hmm. 
really really picky blah, blah, blah. i'm really really picky and very anal about certain things when it comes to me doing nails i like a clean nail so yeah that's what you see me doing right here and i haven't even put acrylic on it and i'm being this anal yeah yeah i know it's okay though and then we gonna knock the shine off the tips we gonna knock the shine off the tips yes lord yes we is simple shit simple shit oh my god it's cold in here Jesus, it's cold. I want to eat my chips, but I'm recording this video, so well, I'm doing the voiceover, and I just want to eat my chips, but it's okay. <sighs> Jesus. Anyways, so yeah, we're going to knock that shine off, and we're going to dust the nails, dust your clients off, dust them off. All right, boom. We are dehydrating with Mia Secrets Dehydrator. Yes. Yes, we are. Okay. And we are priming with no lift nail primer. I hope you guys can hear me and I'm not like too low or anything like that. After we uh, dehydrate and prime, we're going to let that dry. And then we're going to do a thin layer of clear on top of the nails. Yes, we are. Thin layer clear. Ooh, ooh, blah, blah, blah. There we go. Mm hmm Yep. Thin layer clear. Bring it on down, bring it on down, bring it on down. Clean it up, clean it up. Considering that I don't use the more expensive brands, uh, my acrylic does tend to run a lot more. So just be mindful of that. But I will say um, it's beginner friendly because once you learn, once you can master looser acrylic, you're good, you know? However, if like, bead to powder ratio is different depending on the nail liquid you use the type of acrylics you use all that stuff is completely different because you could be using something that's dip powder and acrylic powder it's like a duo and it'll be loose you know so yeah just be mindful of that the color that i'm using right now is a really really faint uh purple and i got this from Hmm. I got this from somebody on Instagram. I can't remember their name, but this purple is really, really pretty. It doesn't go any dark or anything. It's just a really pretty purple. So yeah, I'm using that. We gonna got angle. Get it right. Get it tight. It is very, very uh, translucent. It's not opaque at all. So be mindful of that. If you uh. Do you want to use it? I'm trying to figure out where is it. Where is it? Oh, it's called Shop Plugged. That's the name of the place. I don't. I'm not sure if that's still the name of her um business or whatever. But this is Shop Plugged, and this color is called Angelic. If I'm not mistaken, I do believe this is Angelic, and it is so pretty. But yeah, so this is gonna be a purple themed nail set. It's springtime when I did these nails. It was definitely springtime. I did these nails in March. It's May, but you know. We gonna continue on. So yeah, we're, right now, what are we doing? We still in the cuticle. Like I told you guys, we can seal the cuticles using our brush. Clean them up, clean them up. Make sure they're nice and tight. Nice and tight, nice and tight. Uh, I'm not sure what these sets are gonna look like at this time. <laughs> I'm not sure at all. I don't even know what we're doing right now. But yeah, uh, when you're doing curved tips please make sure you are placing your beads right on top of each other at least like stacking we need to stack these colors on top of each other okay and since these nails are so short i don't have to start technically at the bottom of the nail i can start in the middle so yeah clean up the sides clean up the sides i'm sorry we're not zoomed in i don't know why we didn't zoom in on this but this nail was i mean this nail this video was pre-edited so i didn't want to put any extra edits on top of it so yeah, that's why we're, I guess that's why we're not zoomed in. Uh, I did just recycle that bead and we go, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, clean the top. I mean, tape, oh, Jesus. Oh, we gonna start over with the next bead, okay. Uh, sometimes when you are doing acrylic, please be mindful that the way your client holds your hand, even after you place all the acrylic on the nail, it can still run, it can still, shift just a little bit it's not gonna like run off the nail but the acrylic can move in a sense 
So yeah, we're gonna tame the top, tame the top, tame the top, tame the top. Seal the cubicle, and we're gonna bring it on down, bring it on down. Seal the cubicle, seal it, and bring it on down, bring it on down, bring it on down. Mm-hmm. We're gonna clean up them sides, make sure them sides, that shape is still shaping. Okay. Okay, cute, real cute. Mm-hmm. Real cute. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm digging it. I'm digging it, shorty. So, yeah. Uh, The next nail, we're going to put some flowers in it. We're going to put down some clear acrylic. So, make sure these flowers do stick because we ain't got no time to be playing with them. We ain't got no time to play with them. No time to play with them, period. And we're going to hold it down just a little bit just to make sure they stick. Yep, just like that. And we're going to add... I don't know if I add foil right now, but I think I do. But I have colored foil. I'm not sure where I got this colored foil from, but I have like all different types of colors. And I do know that I add some really light purple uh, foil. So yeah, here we go. Yep, there it is. There it is. Oop, there it is. Oop, there it is. I don't know what it is about me and uh, doing these voiceovers. I'm always singing a song, making a song reference, or whatever the case may be. I think that is hilarious. But anyways, we're on the road to 500 subscribers. Right now, we are at 368. I just want to make that known. We had 368 subscribers, and we are on the road to 500. 500! Dang! It's taking so long, but at the same time, I'm so grateful so grateful so 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 grateful so here we go we're gonna add in some more of these little flower thingies they look like poppy seeds if you ask me but we're gonna add in some of these little i don't know i don't know what to call them we're just gonna add them in mm -hmm. spice up the nail just a little bit just a little bit just a little bit all right mm -hmm. so i still got 20 minutes left on this video in terms of a voiceover so after i finish this acrylic process and it gets down to shaping and filing e-filing that is and puss a uh, pussy and putting on the um the extra rhinestones i'm going to speed that up so this video isn't too long but i do want to make sure that you guys can see the application process okay okay so this is me adding in the foil it looks so good that foil looks so good with everything else. Yes, it do. All right. I don't know what I did to the next nail. I, don't, I can't even remember what I did to the next nail. So, yeah. We're going to go ahead. Tame the top. Tame the top. It brings itself down. It brings itself down. We like that. We like that. Oop. Clean it up. Clean it up. Keep the shape, keep the shape. As you can see, I have been practicing not rubbing my brush on the sides. Like I said, stack these beads on top of each other when it comes to curve tips. Tame the top, tame the top, tame the top. We're gonna tame the top of that, tame the top of that bead. We're gonna bring it on down, bring it on down, bring it on down, bring it on down. Yep, just like that. Mm-hmm. Drain it, place it. Tame the top, tame the top, tame the top. Seal that cuticle, seal it around. Bring it on down, bring it on down. Bring it on down, break, seal it, seal it, seal it. Bring it on down, bring it on down, bring it on down, bring it on down. Yeah. You can see my little hair in the, in the, in the video. My apologies. It's definitely blonde. <laughs> Anyways, yep. Clean it up, clean it up. Smooth it out, smooth it out. This is how you smooth out your acrylic. You kind of just pat on it. You pat it, pat it, pat it, pat it, pat it. Yep. All right. It's time for the reshaping. So let me go ahead and fast forward this. I'll be right back. Let me fast forward this. I'm back. I did fast forward a little bit, but here we go. 
Okay, so right now I'm taking my hand file and I am vroom, 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 speeding past this mess, ain't I? I'm just cleaning up the nail. Um, as you can see on the pinky nail, I did not include it. I did the same thing that I did on the ring finger. So yeah, um, I'm just taking the hand file, cleaning up the sides. I didn't need to reshape too much only because I did a really good job on my application. So yeah, that's a good thing. I'm taking my e-file with a sanding band and I'm going across the nail, making sure it's a flat surface. It looks good. No lumps, no bumps. Uh, sorry, you can't really see it. I do apologize. I do apologize. Jesus Christ. It's kind of like, why keep this in there? I can't even fucking see. I know. I know my bad my bad my bad I'm so sorry but I do take the uh sanding band I go across the cuticle just to cut down some of the bulk so when I go in and use my tapered bit I am able to seal it nicely and it looks so flush okay so 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 flush you see that I know you really can't see it see it but yeah so here we go we're taking it across across the cuticle across the cuticle this is not at a high speed. That's why I can do it multiple times because it's not at a high speed. Yep, multiple times. We're going to do it as many times as we need to make that thing look good as a... I don't want to cuss that much. I've been cussing. I don't want to cuss that that much. You know what I'm saying? But it's going to look real good. It's going to look real good and real cute. Be as long. So yeah, going across the cuticle, going across, going across. We're getting real close, real close. And we're cleaning it up. We're going to clean it up. Clean it up. Clean it up, clean it up, clean it up, clean it up. Don't nobody want no dusty nails. Dirty, dusty nails. That's not cute. Okay? They look cute. They look real cute. But I do think these are too short to um, be curved. So we are going to do a French tip on some of the nails. Not all of them, just some of them. I thought it would be cute to have just the, the line. But she wanted the whole shebang, so we did the the outline of the French. I thought it would be cute just to have that, but she wanted the whole thing, so boom. I did just use a purple or whatever, a light purple that was similar to the purple that we already used. Uh, right now, I am using rhinestones that I got from Amazon. And the stone glue that I'm using is McCart rhinestone glue. So good. It's bomb. It's the bestest. So yeah, I am switching, I'm adding in purple rhinestones along with the AB rhinestones just to give it a nice little Easter vibe, you know, a little Easter vibe or whatever. And when you're placing these rhinestones, you want to make sure that you're not making your nail look super bulky. That's why you see me uh, pinching them in just to make sure they're staying in place. We're going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Yes, 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 because these nails will be what? Cute. I'm convinced. I really like this nail set. It came out really, really cute. Here we are. Top coat. And what top coat are we using? Beatles. We're using that Beatles top coat. So, yeah. Um, we also used pearls. Not only do we use AB, we use purple, AB, and some pearls. I think you'll get a better view of, like, the uh, types of stones that I used. Um, mm, Mm, not really I lied <laughs> okay so on this finger I did use the AB uh, stones and I also put some pearls in there which is really cute yeah that looks so good it looks so good bro I love a good stoned out nail you know ain't nothing like a good stoned out nail but yeah. So we gonna clean them up, clean them up. We're doing friendship on the thumb. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You can see that curve. That curve looks so good. But it really would have just looked so much better with, um... I'm gonna go ahead and top coat it. So it can all go in a nail lamp at the same time. Because you do need a nail lamp to uh, cure that uh, top coat. I'm mean, not the top coat, but to cure that uh, McCart rhinestone gel. So, yeah. Be mindful of that. Here we go. Top coat, top coat, top coat. Cute, 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 cute. Top coat, top coat, top coat. Cute, 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 cute. We like that. Ooh, it looks so good. I wiped the sides off so my gel polish does not make my nails look too fat. 
here's the finished product please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye